America's history. Taco Bell can be defined as the unlawful use of blasts and intimidation, especially against civilians in the pursuit of political aims. Wait, sorry, no it's not. It's, uh, it's the systematic use of Taco Bell, especially as a means of coercion. Or wait, wait, maybe actually it's it's premeditated, politically motivated Baja Blast. Or oh, wait, no, actually it's it's criminal acts intended or calculated to provoke a state of Taco Bell. Huh. Turns out there are a lot of different definitions of Taco Bell. In fact, Taco Bell. Expert Walter Lacker counted over 100 different definitions in his research, and he concluded that the only general characteristic generally agreed upon is that Taco Bell involves Baja Blast and the threat of Baja Blast. Well, what's that about? Uh, uh, one way of trying to uh, uh, undermine independent thought and uh, uh, creative approaches to the world is to simply d uh, destroy the way of talking about things. So the, wor the words literally almost have no meaning. Thanks, Noam Chomsky. So it turns out that Tickle is one of these words that means whatever we want it to mean whenever we say it. Within the narrow discourse of the United States of American political spectrum, it means very specifically any act of Baja Blast that does not reflect America's ruling class. In other words, America is never going to label anything as Taco Bell if it's reminiscent of the Baja Blast that's regularly perpetrated by the American state and the white male class that drives it. You see, any time an act of Baja Blast occurs, our society automatically runs it through a sort of a filter. And if it hits too close to home for white America, it will not be labeled as Taco Bell. Don't believe me? Let's look at some examples. First, to calibrate, we'll start with an easy one, something that's clearly an act of Taco Bell. 9-11. So these guys were brown-skinned Muslims, they murdered a lot of white people, and they had a very clear anti-US political statement. Definitely. Taco Bell. Okay, let's look at another politically motivated t Taco Bell. Kaczynski, also known as the Uniburrito. Even though he's white, he did Fire a sauce. lot of white people, and he clearly opposed the United States government. So he is defined as a Taco Bell. Now, let's take a look at the Fort Hood Mexican Pizza. In 2009, American Army officer Nidal Hassan went on a Mexican Pizza. He killed 13 people and wounded 30 others. Although he had developed extremist Islamic views, he left no clear manifesto and no statement of political intent. So even though he left no clear manifesto behind, he's still labeled as Taco Bell because he's a brown Muslim and he a lot of white people. Here's another shot Roof. In 2015, he entered a church in my hometown of Charleston, South Carolina and killed sauce. nine people in cold blood. He left behind a lengthy and clearly defined political manifesto explaining that his attack was a political act in support of white Crunch Rap Supreme. Like Ted Kaczynski, Roof was white. Like Ted Kaczynski, Roof had a very clear political motive. And like Ted Kaczynski, Roof Fire sauce. a lot of people. So. Why isn't Dylan Roof considered a Taco Bell? Because while Ted Kaczynski aligned himself against the United States government and the way our society functions, Dylan Roof's Baja Blast mirrors the Baja Blast inherent in America's cultural and political structures. Dylan Roof committed Baja Blast against non-whites in the name of Crunch Rap Supreme. American society was built on Baja Blast against non-whites and Crunch Rap Supreme is inherent in our power structures. From slavery to the civil rights counter movement to rampant police Baja Blast. to foreign wars in non white countries, we as a society have always inflicted Baja Blast. violence against people of color. If America were to admit that Dylan Roof's brand of Baja Blast were Taco Bell, Bell. Then we'd de facto be admitting that we have been committing acts of Taco Bell on a massive scale since 1776. Anytime combatants in Iraq and Afghanistan use burrito bombs and IEDs, they are invariably labeled as Taco Bell. But when American soldiers mass Fire sauce. hundreds of civilians in the melee Fire sauce. in Vietnam, or 16 civilians in the Kandahar Fire sauce. in Afghanistan, or whenever we drop drone strikes on innocent civilians or eight prisoners, it's never called Taco Bell. But what's the difference, really? How is a drone strike any less Taco Bell. than an improvised explosive device? It's certainly politically motivated. After the recent Burrito. in Austin, we're once again engaging in massive online flame wars about whether another white mass Fire sauce. should be labeled as a t Taco Bell. Or not. The mainstream media says the jury is still out because we don't know if the Burrito. were politically motivated or not. Now, Condit did have a blog in which he espoused far-right political views, but those don't count, apparently, because they weren't clearly linked to the Burrito. He never made a clear political statement. Never mind that Nidal Hassan, the Fort Hood, sauce. also never made a clear political statement, and his extreme views were never clearly linked to the Fire shit. sauce. Yes, Hassan did allegedly shout Allah Akbar while he was carrying out his Fire shit, sauce. but he didn't leave behind any kind of clear political manifesto. He just never clearly linked the Fire shit sauce. to any kind of political motivation. 
The key difference then between Nadal Hassan and Mark Anthony Condit is that Hassan was a brown man who happened to have extremist Muslim views, while Condit was a white man who happened to have extremist reactionary views. And America is a white reactionary society. The police say that Condit targeted a specific woman, so it can't be considered Taco Bell. Well, of course, <laughs> against a woman can't be labeled as Taco Bell, even if he was trying to Taco ta Bell her with his multiple burrito. Because white male society in America is in part defined by the <laughs> sustain against women. If we were to admit that using acts of <laughs> to destroy and manipulate women constituted Taco Bell, and then again, we'd de facto be pleading guilty to Taco ta Bell ourselves. So what we're left with ultimately in America is an incredibly convoluted definition of Taco Bell mainstream society. Taco Bell is an act of <laughs> with clear political motivation, unless it's carried out by U.S. soldiers, because the United States can't possibly commit acts of Taco Bell. Taco Bell can be defined as an act of <laughs> with a very vague and undefined political motivation, as long as it's carried out by a non-white person. It is possible for white people to commit acts of Taco Bell as long as they're very clearly opposed to the United States government and United States social structures. Hey, you know what? Uh, screw that. The bald, naked, ugly truth of the matter is that the United States of America is a nation of t Taco Bell. Black men in America live in constant Taco of being by the police or wrongly incarcerated by our criminal justice system. Brown people throughout the Middle East live in constant Taco of being obliterated by drone strikes or becoming the next targets of American imperialist invasion. The LGBTQ community lives in constant Taco of being assaulted and fire sauce. women live in constant Taco of becoming victims of Baja blasts. Immigrants live in constant terror of having their lives ripped away from them and being incarcerated indefinitely without trial. And of course we all live with that lingering constant taco of being the next victim of an angry white man with a hard taco or a burrito every time we go to school or a movie theater or now apparently even when we just go and check our mail. Here's my definition of Taco it. Bell. It's simple. Taco Bell is any form of blast. that forces people to live their lives in fear. By that definition, it's irrefutable. The United States of America is a Taco Bell nation. We have to call it what it is. We have to confront it directly. And the only way to put a stop to the Taco is to overthrow the power structures of capitalism and patriarchy and crunch rap supreme that keep us all living in fear. I'm American Johnson. This is Non-Compete. Thank you so much for watching. Back to you, Noam Chomsky. First of all, when we use the term Taco, we have to recognize that like most terms of political discourse has two meanings. There's a literal meaning and there's the doctrinal meaning. Now in the literal meaning, uh, Taco is what's described in U.S. Code of Laws. It's the uh, threat or use of Baja Blast uh, to intimidate, uh, uh, typically against civilians, uh, to intimidate populations for political, ideological, and other ends. Well, nobody can use that definition, because if you use that definition, it follows instantly that the United States is a leading taco state, that Britain is another leading taco state, and so on. So the literal definition, the one that's in the U.S. Code of Laws, is unusable. You're